I'm anxiously attached. What kind of shit is that? That's how I feel. Like, what you mean I'm anxiously attached? Who? Hey y'all! Whistle, 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 whistle. I'm excited. Today is Young's birthday, he turned two. I told y'all in the last vlog, it rained all day today, but I could not just let the day go and not do nothing on the actual birthday. So I'm gonna show y'all what we about to do. Um, but tomorrow, we going to fetch. We going to fetch. We going to fetch, 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 we going to fetch. Okay, so tomorrow we are gonna go to fetch. It's supposed to be good weather. I'm gonna bake this cake. I got this, um, bake at home cake mix it says cranberry blueberry and vanilla recipe can't believe i'm baking the cake for this damn dog i ain't baking cake for myself okay i got him a little birthday boy bandana for him to wear tomorrow so he can be dripped up dripped out on him and for tonight i got him a little happy birthday cookie he does not need to eat all of this but i guess isn't that cute and then I got him some good dinner to put on top of his regular dinner. This is Stella Stew, Red Meat Melody, Beef Lamb, oh, not the lamb, and Elk smothered in bone broth. And I'm excited for him because y'all know that I love me some lamb. He gonna get some lamb. Too bad I have to eat this chicken in here. I, I'm so hungry, y'all need to go to the store. The house is a mess. I was all day filming and editing i did a reel i edited a vlog like i was working i needed to do some emails y'all it just be so much to do but anyway girl whatever because it's almost seven o'clock and i have to go to the store and figure out how i want to eat these chicken tenders because they have to be cooked today but he usually eat at 6 30 and he's mad he like this don't make no sense on my birthday to have to starve yum <laughs> damn okay yeah look he already knew what time it was he knew what time it was okay yum yes it's time to eat let me make the plate now don't be mad and then we're gonna sing happy birthday and you're gonna get the cookie okay he like yeah i'm ready what's up okay he gets real antsy because he done i done put the food in his bowl and he like girl why you ain't placed my food down on the floor and i'm like i know but you're gonna be happy when i put some of this topper on it and you're gonna have some for like two or three days because we're not gonna eat it all um tear and squeeze squeeze four corners to huh girl if you don't look i'm not gonna do this with you if you don't go ahead and open up Where's my scissors? I don't got time to be playing with this damn food. And he mad. He got an attitude. And I got an attitude too, because I'm ready to go to the store. Well, not really, but I have to go to the store. Okay, y'all. Um, I know. This look like... Oh, my God. It's this. And he gonna just suck it on up, because he don't know no better. I'm gonna let y'all see this, y'all. It is stank. Y'all see this? Oh, and he is gonna slurp it. That's it, young. Know? Okay, a little bit more. You gotta save some for tomorrow. That shit. Mmm. It stank. He like, girl, if you don't stop playing with me. You ready, young? It's your birthday dinner. Birthday dinner. Birthday dinner. Birthday dinner, birthday dinner, birthday dinner, birthday dinner, birthday dinner, birthday dinner, birthday dinner. Okay. Y'all, when I tell you he licked this bowl, like he was just over there. And I'm like, it's, it's gone, baby, it's gone. So you like that little stew, huh? Well, it's time to sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Yummy, yum, 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 yum. Bring your ass. I'm trying to see you. It's so weird trying to celebrate a dog happy birthday because they don't get the concept. Come here, yum. 
God damn, look at you. You guys stood up here the whole time. Happy birthday to you. Ah. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. It's dear yum 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 yum. Happy birthday to you. Jesus Christ. Nice. Nice. A happy birthday. It is his birthday. He ran off on the plug, y'all. Gonna take my damn bone and run on over there in the bed. You know what? You're ungrateful. You is ungrateful. <laughs> in another time, in another place, you would be mine. Hey y'all, I have been in a real shitty mood today, like a real PC bratty attitude mood. It is three o'clock. Y'all know when I turn the camera on, run, Young gotta run back and forth. Um, I need to make Young's birthday cake because we're going to fetch. Cause I don't care how I feel, it's kind of like a child. We're not gonna take it out on Young. Um, <laughs> so nothing, nothing really happened. That's the craziest thing. Like I can't tell you, y'all. X and Y Z happened, and this is why. No. But I'm an overthinker and I do things to myself and I was not even in a realization to that until like this past summer when I had a conversation with somebody who was like, oh damn, you really be doing shit to yourself. Like I do so much shit to myself. I do more things to myself than, I ain't going to say anybody's ever done to me, but I am the villain to myself. It really be me. So I'm not going to tell y'all what I was crying about yesterday, but I had a full on meltdown, couldn't breathe, crying. And the reason I'm not going to tell y'all is because it, it's so embarrassing. It's that embarrassing. And you got to think how embarrassing it is because y'all know I literally be getting up on here telling y'all everything. It's that embarrassing that I can't even tell you. It's sad. I am a mess. Even though last year, I already told y'all 2003 was 2003. 2003 probably was late. That was 20 years ago. 2023 was not a good year. I feel like from the moment that I turned 30, which is, I'm on year 32. I'm not 32 yet, but I'll be 32 in June. But y'all know I cry when I turn 30. And everybody talk about how lit their 30s are. When does it begin, please? Anyway, y'all, um, I just didn't have a good night last night. Uh, I will say the only good thing about that is I had to self-regulate as we talked about in therapy. I'm trying to learn to self-regulate and that's only because if I'm being honest y'all, I wanted a gummy so bad because I know I don't technically smoke. If I, if somebody was at my house with, with it on them, no. Hey, but you know, I engage in edibles and gummies and stuff and I didn't have none and I just wanted one so bad because I knew if I had ingested one, all the feelings that I was feeling, I wouldn't have been feeling them and I didn't want to feel these feelings. And I wanted, I didn't necessarily want to eat cause I wasn't hungry, but I was like, okay, we just need to sit with these feelings and like learn how to self-regulate and do, we don't need to be trying to turn to no uh, other substances, no food. And I had to just sit there and deal with it until I went to sleep. And sleep was the only, like, refuge. But anyway, um, when I woke up this morning again, like, I just kind of felt... I went to the gym, surprisingly. I'm happy about that. It was just horrible. Sometimes when you go to the gym, you know how they say you go to the gym and it make you feel better. Honestly, y'all, sometimes yes. Sometimes no. 
That workout was trash. I got through it and I did it, but it didn't make me feel bad. I hated it the whole moment I was there and I didn't do any cardio and I came home and ate. And that was like the only thing I really enjoyed was the same eggs that I eat over hash browns and I've been eating, but okay. I'm like, whatever, because there's nothing technically wrong. It's just me. There's nothing going on. There's it's, it's literally just me being a brat and me being a funky mood. And okay, I'm not even gonna say I'm sorry about it because uh, when we had that talk about giving ourselves grace, okay, humans, sometimes we just don't feel it. We are not into it. And honestly, I kind of just want to lay in my bed and not do nothing today, but gonna take him to fetch for his birthday because it's the right thing to do and plus i bought this stuff to make this cake so we're gonna do it and tomorrow is valentine's day and i thought i was going to tennessee for my grandma's birthday but she is, doesn't feel good and she don't want to be bothered which i'm not even mad about to be honest because i kind of didn't want to go so tomorrow will be my pity party day pity party yeah <laughs> ironically <laughs> i'm not one of those people that get sad around valentine's day i don't really care um like if i don't have valentine's but um I wanted to just make sure that I was doing whatever I wanted to do tomorrow just off because of what I was going through today and what I was feeling. Uh, but I don't even know what I want to do besides, of course, I'm going to order food somewhere. I was thinking about going to the movies. Of course, I don't want to go at night because, yeah. But I, I might try to catch this one o'clock movie. I don't know. I really just have to wake up and decide what I want to do. Dare I try to go get a massage because I'm pretty sure that everybody's booked up. Actually, Y'all know I should actually look at that since I have my little hand in stone membership. I can see if it's something available, but I have no idea what I'm gonna do tomorrow besides basically whatever I want. Whatever. Um, I might go get me something. I was thinking about a dessert I would want, but honestly, y'all, I'm not even a sweets person. I know y'all gonna be like, yeah, you say that, but crumble cookies, and I didn't have none last week, and I looked at the menu, and guess what else? I looked at the menu for this week, and I don't even, it ain't even tempting. So that part of our lives is over. But let me, I'm trying to look and see, and I gotta remember how to log up in here. Matter of factly, oh, that's what I said, I'm gonna go get on my computer. Um, I might try to go get a massage because I feel like they're just going to be busy because of, you know, the couples thing. But Hand and Stone doesn't do couple massages, so they actually might not be busy. Uh, so let's see. I kind of like the Sandy Springs location, but I don't even care. Sandy Springs, Chamblay, what you got for me? 21. Can you do something for me? Hand this down. Can you do something for me? Okay, you guys. So, I actually did schedule me um, a massage for 2.15. I don't know what I'm going to eat in the morning time. I think I might want ramen because I've been wanting ramen ever since I had it with my mom. Or I might go to my favorite sushi place and then we'll play it by ear. I think I'm probably gonna get a bubble tea too because when I went to the works with y'all in the last vlog, I didn't technically get a bubble tea. I got a matcha at a bubble tea place. But anyway, ooh, then I just thought about this bubble tea place that has this chicken sandwich that I wanted to try. So many possibilities. Why is everything centered around food? That's just what makes me happy. Anyway, y'all, we got to, I wasted time. It's now 3.30. That took 30 minutes. <laughs> I was answering emails too. Anyway. I need to make this damn cake for yum. And I wish I would have got a disposable pan because that's what I was supposed to do. And I forgot, but it's okay because I think we're just gonna use probably the banana bread pan. Girl, yeah, that's the only other pan we got. And I'm gonna just follow the instructions. I'm so excited for yum because I have nobody else to be excited for right now. I'm not excited for myself because I'm in a little bratty mood. But this will probably make me happy to make this cake for him and then take him to fetch. It's cold outside, so I don't think we're going to be there long. That's why I'm also like, we need to hurry up and be trying to go. Like, as soon as this cake is done, because y'all know the later it gets, the temperature drops. And why did I mix? I was supposed to mix it in a separate bowl and then pour it in here. What am I doing? It smells good. He over there just laying. All he do is lay. Remind you of somebody. This smells so good. But I need half a cup of water. Huh? Half a cup plus one tablespoon. What? Okay. Prep oven to 350. Let's do that first. Because, girl.
Okay, and then it says grease the pan. So we're gonna have to pour this out. Stir cake mix water and oil, but you telling me a half a cup plus one table. Okay, I guess of water and three tablespoons of olive oil. Girl, we ain't got no olive oil, so you gonna have to get this vegetable oil, baby. Ain't no olive oil. Ain't no olive oil. You'll be just fine with this vegetable oil. I don't know what to tell you. As I'm getting, I need to clean up too. Of course I do. Um, but yeah, so I need to grease the pan. And we really don't have any oil for real because I don't have any even olive oil spray. I ran out. So while this cake is baking, I can do some getting my act together. So I'm going to pour some oil to, oh, that was too much. Grease the pan. Y'all, while I'm acting like this gotta be perfect, it's, it's literally for a dog. And then it says a half a cup and one tablespoon, teaspoon of water. That is so petty. That is so petty. You getting a half a cup. Like, that is so petty. That is petty. That is my half a cup measuring. All right, boom, half a cup. I feel like that's not enough. Am I sure to say that? Yes, a half a cup. Okay, and three tablespoons of olive oil. Look, if y'all don't, I'm not measuring this, but I don't need to pour too much because I don't want him to get sick. I don't even feel like that's probably enough, but girl. First of all, y'all already know that I don't like cooking and this is not my forte and it is don't make it no better that it's for a dog that i'm really just not trying to give you any type of effort that is sad because this dog is my child <laughs> but yeah i don't i i would have bought a cake because they had pretty little cakes that was already like made but the cakes that was already made was 30 dollars, and then that box cake was 10. so come on now we're not no idiots this needs some more moisture baby i don't know we we gonna why I was not spending to spend thirty dollars for no cake and I could just buy one for ten and just have to make it. And yes, I'm gonna let you lick the fork. I shouldn't cause it's my fork. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. Well it ain't like I ain't let you lick my little blender thing before it'll be alright. He's a baby. If y'all feel some type of way about the dog licking the fork that's gonna get washed, I don't know what to tell you. Cause I am black, but I'm not that black, cause I believe Dogs in the bed, don't bother me. I ain't eating after him, but, and I do wash his stuff separate from mine. However, he can lick a fork, it's fine. It's gonna get washed. I done dropped something on the floor. He already licking. Come on, young, lick the fork. You cannot have it. I know, he's a baby. Tell him he's a baby. Is he a baby? Is he a baby? I know he is. He's only two, I know. Okay, young. <laughs> Y'all, how about I did all this with this cake and we can't even take it to fetch. For you to, in order for you to bring like stuff outside of fetch, like for doggy parties or whatever, they want you to rent a space. Girl, bye. So, this <laughs> It's not appeasing. Like, if I wanted something to be cute, I was better off just, like, buying the cake. But, um, I wasn't spending $30 on the cake. Like, no. We finna go to fetch. He had a good dinner last night. He gonna have the rest of that stew stuff today. He got a little bone. He got a little bandana. Look, baby. I did what I could do. Now, I'll be giving you some of your cake. Um, I guess all this week. But yeah, we finna just go ahead and get ready to go to this park. I thought I was gonna take the cake and like set it up. But um I guess I can cut a little slice and like kind of make it cute for a picture with his bandana on. But I gotta walk him first because y'all know he gets excited. Come here, young. Yeah, look at him. Your ass was just sleep, and now you wanna yeah, I know. Nice. Come on. Nice. Good boy. That's it, young. Is it good? He like what you think. It's dry. It's dry. He like that shit dry as hell. No, yum. That's it. You're not getting no more to the pictures. Bag back. I don't know why I put this bandana on this dog. Like he was going to act right. Come on, yum. Leave the plate alone. I just want some pictures with the cake. No, sit down. You're going to act right with this bandana. Let me get my pictures. 
Young, this is. I just need some pictures. Young, sit down. Sit down. Young, stop. I can't. It's not gonna work. He's not gonna get it. Sit down. supposed to get all of that y'all it's cake everywhere he was not supposed to get all... i was trying to get the picture you did not need that big ass piece of cake look at you look at you <laughs> look at you look at you been in here acting up already you acting up you tired Getting under my hot apple cider. Uh, absolutely not. Go on. You're supposed to be playing. Bye, young. Mm-hmm. You're tired. Don't know what to do. This is crazy. Look at you. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> it is, what time is it? It's 8.16. I've been up since 6 o'clock. And I remember telling y'all I wasn't getting my sleep. But I can't say nothing because I got seven hours of sleep. Which seven is the bare minimum I'm willing to take and not complain. But I want nine. Eight is really cool, too. Like, I, I really want to say the minimum is eight. But I've been getting seven. And seven to nine is the standard, so I can't say nothing. But I'm like, why all of a sudden? Does this happen to anybody else? Like, I know that some of y'all are older than me, but a lot of y'all are like in y'all uh, early 30s. Did you notice anything like coming from like, let's say 20s and not early 20s or nothing, but like 27 through 29 and you got to like 30, 31, 32, 33 and you getting up earlier? Because I think I seen somebody on thread say something about them waking up early like in their 30s which i've never been a morning person all my life i hate waking up out of sleep um and early like wait let me say that i just don't like getting up basically before my i don't like being waking up like i don't want no alarm i don't want no time to get up i want to just let my body like naturally get up which my body been naturally getting up at six sometimes five thirty which is weird because my body was the first like in the, the what i could remember 11 10 30 this was like teens early 20s then like late 20s even even earlier this year or like last year eight i was good with getting up at eight because i go to bed like 11 so i was getting up getting getting up at eight that was cool but this six this six why the why is you up at six o'clock in the morning with no damn job i mean yeah but you know, you ain't got to go nowhere. Anyway, I could just get up and go ahead and go to the gym. It would be great. But I, what I do is just lay here and try to... <laughs> maybe I'll stop doing this. I try to go back to sleep. And then I end up just laying here for hours. Like I said, it's 8 something. So I've been up for two hours. However, um, I was watching a vlog. I was watching Gina this morning. So at least I did that. Because sometimes I literally would just sit here and scroll on Instagram for two hours. And there's nothing on there worth your time for two hours i promise so anyway i'm about to read this book i bought y'all i end up buying this book called attached i'm sure y'all probably have heard of it talk about the attachment styles and it was funny because y'all know like i briefly mentioned that um i cannot see i got my glasses on i briefly mentioned that in the last vlog like about our attachment styles so like as i was reading this yesterday it was a little part i have it linked Every time I have a book, I'll tell y'all about it and link it. Because y'all like when I was reading Discerning the Voice of God and y'all bought the book. I can see from, like, my Amazon who, like, not who, but, like, how many people actually ordered the book. So, um, I told y'all about the, where's the attachment styles at? Because it was, like, this was in the first beginning of the damn book. I'm on part two, by the way, when it goes into each attachment style deeper. And I'm excited, so I'm about to read, like, a chapter. Then I'm trying to decide... 
if I want to go to the gym. Today is cardio anyway. I probably should go, especially because I ain't really did cardio all week. I did a little bit of cardio Monday. I did zero cardio yesterday because I was not feeling it. Oh, I'm also in a better mood. Thank God. It's Valentine's Day. I hope ain't nobody being a bitter Betty. It's not that serious. Love on yourself. <laughs> like, I'm going to get my massage. I don't know if I want ramen. I said I was going to go get ramen yesterday. But it really depends on whatever I feel like eating. But I need to make my decision because my massage is at 2.15. If I'm going to get ramen, I need to be there like at 12 because it's not. It's in Midtown. Um, I'm going to be straying from the house. But anyway. Oh, and I bought me some Gymshark. I bought me some Gymshark yesterday for Valentine's Day. That's my gift to myself. It, of course, it's not here. I bought a set. And I, I bought, remember I told y'all I needed a gym bag? And I was looking at Nike gym bags. I ended up getting this tote from um, Gymshark. It kind of looks like my Kate Spade black puffer tote. I got a gym bag and then I got like a mini version of it in this pretty like light brown color. So see, baby, you can, girl, go ahead. Don't y'all be feeling bitter, salty. Well, by the time y'all see this, it won't be Valentine's Day. But I just hope y'all was not, girl. And I had a Caesar salad last night, and it was so good. Just, it was a regular ass Caesar salad. But it kind of made me think I might want to buy a piece of salmon tonight and make another Caesar salad. But I don't know. I might also order sushi. Dare I say, I was like, you should just go out and have sushi. But I probably don't want to do that. Um, anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm jumping all over the place. Where is that little excerpt that I wanted to read? Oh, is it this? Yeah, so the secure, the anxious, and the avoidant. So it says adult attachment designates three main attachment styles. And I told y'all that we do have some that display anxious and avoidant together. And it's called disorganized or fearful, disorganized attachment fearful avoidant there's some other names for it too but anyway um so atta adult attachment designates three main attachment styles or manners in which people perceive and respond to intimacy and romantic relationships which parallel those found in children secure which is what we all aim to be or should want to be anxious and avoidant basically secure people feel comfortable with intimacy and are usually warm and loving anxious people crave intimacy are often preoccupied with their relationships and tend to worry about their partner's ability to love them back avoidant people equate intimacy with the loss of independence and constantly try to minimize closeness i told y'all that i'm typically avoidant or even fearful avoidant and then so it talks about like where it come from and it talk about like basically again when i be telling y'all about having these kids the parenting styles so i learned this in therapy like the reason why i'm i display avoiding attachment style so often is because my parents weren't um affectionate and i often was left alone to deal with anything like y'all again i'm not complaining about my parents i'm just telling y'all what it was so i Grew, I, I had another brother I don't know if y'all know this or not that passed and that brother we were 13 months apart this is the only brother or the only sibling that I shared with my mom so Donald I don't know because a lot of y'all did ask like why he don't be around like with my mom that's not his mom it's not that they don't you know do stuff anyway, that's not his mom um, I'm my mom's only child. My mom had another child and that child passed. So I have two brothers like with my dad, but I'm my mom's only child. Um, so when my brother passed, again, we were 13 months apart. So I always like to say that it sucks for me. And I had, this is why I have like abandonment issues. Um, when I realized that I was a person, by the time I realized, oh, I'm actually living and alive. I, there was somebody else there because me and my brother are 13 months apart. So by the time that I'm one, boom there's another person you kind of get a i don't really feel like you're getting a little awareness to like too but we're gonna you know i had an awareness of oh damn there's this person here he's always here so when he passed it was like i was just so used to having this person that was always there and then he wasn't there and then like so my mom is dealing with the death of a child so she kind of absent my dad never lived in the house with me as a kid um sometimes but as i got older like, I would either live with my dad or I live with my mom, but we never coexist, like, together. So, um, when my brother passed, I, that was when I was living with my mom. And so, she kind of was dealing with her own stuff and she was kind of shelled off. So, I was by myself for most of, like, the earlier years of my life, like, literally just alone. 
I watch TV alone. I did everything alone. I think that's also why I'm introverted and like in the house because that's kind of like I wasn't a kid that played with other kids. I didn't really go outside. Like me being outside was at school because you got to go. But other than that, I was pretty much kind of like how you see me now by myself <laughs> talking to myself reading like literally how you see me now um which is i think why i told you me and my brother used to uh me and my donald we vlogged before there was youtube that uh, i was always in the cameras and i think that's because it's always just been me so i would just be talking to me doing i don't know it, this is ridiculous but um because of that i have avoided attachment because it's like i don't like people and i didn't know this and then I want to talk about, like, I posted this on Instagram. Like, I usually am avoiding, and I told you I started, I'm acting anxious now. And I think that's because I'm used to people, like, latching on to me and coming on very strongly. And it makes me uncomfortable because I have abandonment issues. So I'm like, okay, yep, yeah, this, I like this, but I know that this is going to hurt when it's gone. And it's going to inevitably gone. So you stay over there type thing. So when somebody isn't, like, coming on extra strong, then I start like being anxious like oh what you don't like me hold on and it's not that they don't but it's just that like i told this guys i'm used to being love bomb and i feel like it's a tactic of manipulation now this is mature me speaking because as this was going on i didn't know so i'm used to being love bomb and it's because these people that i be having no business dealing with know that i had no business dealing with them and so they try to manipulate me into being staying with them so they love bomb me and make me just feel this and this and that which this is you shouldn't do that but because i'm used to that when somebody doesn't i'm like oh my god they don't like me i and it is like a panic anyway um this book it tells you that it teaches you like how to recognize your attachment style and like the attachment style of um others and like how to like navigate relationships through that um so far i really like it and like i said i'm literally only in the beginning stage like um let me see i can't uh hold on let me get to where i was I'm literally on page 37. Wow. Give or take, y'all know some of that be bullshit pages. So, I say 30 pages in out of 294. I was reading yesterday, huh? Because I literally bought this book at like 8 o'clock at night. So, the fact that I'm already like 37 pages in, that should tell you that it's a pretty good read. See, the problem, the problem with the getting up at 6 is around 9 I want to go back to sleep <laughs> so yeah I didn't go to the gym y'all I literally went back to sleep from like 9 to 10 30 yeah see I need to be getting up I should have been up at 9 I really be wanting to get up at 8 or 8 30 so 6 if you could just give me two two and a half more hours you know it would be great because that kind of throws stuff off because that's how it's been it was like that yesterday like I end up falling back asleep and then I don't get up to like 10 30 and then it'd be like a groggy get up it don't even be like a get up like okay I'm ready to go it kind of be like oh I want to do this so anyway y'all um I have something to tell y'all so we're on our way I, we are going to get the ramen um i don't really have a taste for anything now of course i wanted ramen so bad yesterday but i'm trying to think are you sure you don't want to get sushi i might get sushi later go get ramen because this is a new place just go ahead i'm very dehydrated um i should have brought my water with me but it's fine uh, we're gonna go to this ramen place in midtown and then our um massage is at 2 15 so that's like two hours from now we should have more than enough time but y'all how about i was reading my attachment book and um how about this whole time i've been cosplaying mm, cosplaying as an avoiding attachment style and i really been an anxious attachment style so when i first discovered attachment styles it was literally last summer when I was in that damn relationship and I was trying to figure out what the hell because it was so the word is tumultuous if I've said that right yeah whatever and then I came across the rabbit hole on TikTok of attachment styles and it was describing stuff it sounded like me from I'm basing this now on previous relationships right before him right so I thought I was avoiding because I literally will push people away for no reason and then again I told you about the Phantom X once the relationship is over it's like oh my god but they was this and they was that whatever but I just couldn't get no act right so I thought I was avoiding this whole time turns out no I'm very much anxious when I'm avoiding it's because I don't like you 
I hate to say that because one of those relationships, like it just had run its course, I guess. Cause I'm like, now I was definitely avoidant. That I'm not saying that he was perfect or nothing, but I was definitely being avoidant. And it's because I was longing. But I said this to people around me, like I, I, y'all, as hard body as I am, y'all, I am a certified lover girl. I want to be in love, in the utmost of love. So, like, I want to be in fairy tale love, and I wasn't, which is why I was like, okay, I don't want to do this, because I'm just not enthralled by the um, the thought of you. Which I know y'all will be like, okay, depending on the length of the relationship, that's going to wear off. Okay, whatever. I don't know. I don't really want to talk about that. What I want to talk about is this whole time I'm thinking I'm avoiding because these past relationships... And I'm anxiously attached. And I hate that for me because again, y'all know I give up that. I don't give up, I don't care, blah, blah, blah. And me being avoidant, I thought was cute because it go along with the brand, Big Snow. Real, y'all know my little masculinity. I was cool with being avoidant. I'm anxiously attached. What kind of shit is that? That's how I feel. Like, what you mean I'm anxiously attached? Who? I hate that. Oh, I hate it. I found that out though, or this is when I thought I was the disorganized or the fearfully avoidant, which is a mix of both. I was telling y'all in that last relationship, cause I was like, oh, this is not my normal behavior. What is this? And now I'm having this behavior again. Oh no, that's because you actually like these people. And I think everybody else that I liked before um, or was with before, they were anxiously attached. So they were, again, very, like, you know, the closeness and intimacy. They was throwing it on heavy, and that's when I'm like, uh, avoid it. <laughs> but because now in that relationship, he did it, and then, like, now, like, it's just not happening. I'm like, no, no, what's wrong with you? Come here, love me. <laughs> So this is not, I'm like, oh my God, you anxiously avoiding person. But then it makes sense. Cause when I was telling y'all earlier about like me being avoided because of the parenting styles, that would actually make me anxiously attached because the affection that I didn't get, I crave it so, so much, the closeness. And that also puts me back to what I was saying. Like I've said before in all kinds of relationships, y'all. I'm going back to like high school now. Oh my God, I just want to be so like in love and just, oh my God, I can't breathe without you. And if I don't feel that, I don't, I don't want to be bothered. And that's because I'm just craving this intimacy and this closeness that I never got. Mm -mm -mm. And if I was to have a child, I probably wouldn't give my child the affection that a child needs because I don't know how to because I didn't get it. Y'all, which is another reason why I do not want to be a single mother. I need a two-parent household. I need my partner to be very affectionate. Because, baby, you going to have to pick up the lack. I don't got it. Do you got it? Because the child needs it. I would hate the child to be me out here anxiously attached and having these abandonment issues and all of that. Because it's not getting the love and affection that it needs to be secure. And I know that I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to do that. So, you got me, right? I need you to get that. That is important. I didn't ever think that was important. Let me tell y'all of one of my favorite pastimes I'm finding out. I love learning about me as a 30 year old, me as an adult. Cause I, I swear like today reading this, I was like, oh my God. And it's just this big like aha moment and I love it. And I think one of y'all, if not many of y'all have commented before about your 30s is gonna be this series of aha moments. Yes. Cause every time I learn something new about me, I'm just like, oh my God, this is amazing. I didn't even know that. Girl, I've been knowing you for 31 years and I ain't know that. This is this is crazy. But yeah, I like being self-aware, so you can't tell me nothing about myself because I already know. <laughs> so yeah, like I know that I'm not affectionate. I know I'm not patient. And I don't want my child to have a non-affectionate, impatient person. So yes, I will work on these things within myself, but it is important that my partner is patient and loving if we're gonna reproduce. Even if we're not, I need these things because I don't have them. I need you to give them to me because I lack them. I'm within lack. Anyway, okay y'all, I need to pay attention to my GPS because I don't know where I'm going. And I'm pretty sure it wants me to get on 13 South. Yeah. Y'all, I'm about to sit on my little iPad and probably like watch a vlog or something, but I ordered the lobster ramen and it smells so good. Do y'all see that lobster? Do y'all see my egg? It smells so good. And then I got like a ginger beer mocktail. For lunch, that's not I fought on a cunt. No count, 24 shows in a month. Good at that time, it was crunch. Ice, 
Diamonds is crushing. Louis V, but my t-shirt is top. Top. Yeah. Cold as a slash. Belly race on sipping. Yo, that was the best ramen I've ever had. Mind you, I can't remember any place I've had ramen outside of um Genia. I've had ramen before Genia, but oh, Momo's. Wait, yeah, it was called Momo Cafe, right? I think so. Anyway, most of my ramen has been from Genia. But that place, so it was, I, I know I had on the screen E Ramen. If you live in Atlanta, from Atlanta, whatever, they um, also, the place, the, whoever created E Ramen, can find my words, also created Ace Eight Sushi. And everybody swear, holla down, holla up and down, scream. The Ace Sushi, Eight Sushi, is the best sushi in Atlanta. I. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm not telling y'all my place. I've told y'all before, and when I go there, I just try to be real discreet because I ain't gonna hold you. I do want to gatekeep it because it already done got out a couple times and it be a little crowded. Eight sushi cannot compete with my place, okay? But anyway, no, that ramen was so good. I got lobster ramen. I already told y'all that, but baby, the only thing I have to say is they will stingy with the lobster. Of course, they was because it's lobster. Y'all be acting like y'all can't get nobody nothing, but it was so good. I mean, y'all, I, I just drunk the broth, the egg. Let's talk about the egg. I was one of those people that was disgusted by the, the scene of egg yolk. And now look at me. I don't even cook my eggs all the way through no more. That is so crazy. Again, when I was talking about um, how you just be learning different stuff about yourself, I wanted fried, like y'all know, scrambled eggs hard. Like hard. Bet not see no yolk. Sometimes I used to get a little antsy because I couldn't tell if I was seeing yolk or if I was seeing cheese when I was making the egg and that would piss me off. So that's just crazy that now I'm like, no, give me the gooey egg. Like, but yeah, that ramen was good. So now I'm on my way to my um massage and then I have to drop some stuff off. Uh pretty little thing return. That damn cheap ass, whack ass Amazon he got a dress right here, y'all. All you need to see is the material. Look at her. She look a damn hot ass mess. Oh, we gotta, gotta return that, and I think I'm probably gonna get some bubble tea. Just an Asian inspired day, cause I'm pretty sure that if I do order food and don't make the salmon, it's gonna be sushi. I really love Asian cuisine, and I'll say this again, I've said it before. If I was not a black woman, and the Lord let me choose my race, please baby, make me Asian, cause they're the best. They're beautiful. They have the best food. They're small. <laughs> I really do love, oh, they can dress, be swagged out. I love Asian people. Anyway, yeah, so I'm, I'm probably gonna get a bubble tea. And then after that, y'all, I'm gonna take my butt home, I guess. I don't, that, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm gonna either run and get me a piece of salmon to eat with my uh, Caesar salad tonight, or I'm gonna order sushi. Y'all know I'm probably leaning in on sushi because it's sushi. And I love her, I love it. Y'all, why this damn milk tea so good? I'm sitting in the doggone parking lot because I didn't mean to get the small size and I think I want another one. It is so good. Mm. The boba was fresh and hot. That's really the only time I like it. It's salty, milky, creamy. Mm, mm, mm. I meant to get the bigger size. I think I need another one, y'all. Mm. To be honest, it's because my, I'm damn thirsty. And I want to drink everything but water. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I forget it. It's Valentine's Day. I'm showing myself love. I think I am going to order another one, but probably a fruity one. <laughs> Y'all think I be playing, but I don't be playing. Oh shit. Oh shit. This the taro milk tea, but I got extra sugar. I shouldn't even tell y'all that I got extra sugar. This is, mm. Oh. 
Jesus. Okay. Okay, I'm getting I'm I'm getting out of hand. Ooh, it tastes like fruity pebbles. Here we come to the end of the road. Still I can't let go. <laughs> it's the end of the road, y'all. I've been home just chilling, not doing nothing, laying in my bed. My brother was here. And I'm gonna tell y'all, he slick hurt my feelings because y'all know I plan on ordering sushi. Which I did, but after I was looking at the prices that I knew what type of money I was gonna spend because I needed two rolls, I was like, me and my brother could go get tacos somewhere, like burgers or something, and I would enjoy that more. I'd spend time with him and eat. And he told me no, he was napping on my couch and he was like, you're disturbing me, leave me alone. And I hurt my feelings because I guess deep down because it was Valentine's Day, I kind of did want to do something with somebody, I guess, I suppose. I don't know, but that shit hurt my feelings. Which was crazy because I planned on like having my sushi and getting in the bed like I always do. And I really did have a good day because I did everything that made me happy inside. I tried that ramen place. I got me some bubble tea. I do not get bubble tea often. Um, I had bubble tea twice actually. And I got a massage and then I kind of just chilled. And now I got sushi. Y'all know this is my favorite food. But I wanted to go out somewhere with my brother, I guess just to be out probably. But anyway, y'all. I got two rolls, but they put them in one thing. Every time I get sushi, I always get two rolls because, yeah, one roll ain't enough. And the type of rolls I be getting be high. So, they was like 20-something odd dollars a roll. You know, they got to pay taxes and delivery fee or whatever. So, this is my sush. My sush. <laughs> this one is white fish on it. I definitely see it. And this one got like a crispy tuna. Y'all see the jalapeno? So, this one is got shrimp tempura, so it's slick cooked. Um, I do like cooked rolls, but I ain't gonna hold y'all like a raw roll. Just do what it needs to do. Y'all see this? This is white fish. And then there's some tuna in the inside. I love sushi so much. That's really raw. I just got into eating it raw. At first, I wouldn't eat raw sushi at all. I will only eat like shrimp and crab because of shrimp and crab. Then I will only eat tuna. Then I will only eat salmon, like raw. Now, as you see, this is white fish. I just eat it. I eat it all. As long as there ain't no avocado because I'm allergic. Now, this one is shrimp tempura, so it got the long ass tail hanging out. Oh my God, look at this. Look how, look how long and big this sushi roll is. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Damn. The cream cheese and the jalapeno, like the spiciness from it. Everything just come together with that roll. Um, it's still ain't my favorite sushi place. It can never, never. My favorite sushi place isn't on DoorDash. I probably should have checked to see if it was on Uber Eats. Why well, not think about that? Like, I'm a DoorDash person. Um, I really only used DoorDash because I had a bad experience with Uber Eats one time I ordered some food, some wings, some good wings, y'all, like expensive wings, and they took my food and then bring my food, <laughs> and this was like two years ago, but ever since, I could not let it go, and I just stuck with DoorDash ever since, I know it's the same people doing both, it could be, whatever, I stuck with DoorDash, it's never happened, but I do need to check and see if my favorite sushi place is on Uber Eats. Because I will slide for it. But this will do. So I hope everybody did something that made them feel good on Valentine's Day. Whether they had somebody to share it with or not. I really do hope that for y'all. And I just hope that nobody was sad and like hard on themselves about something that they have no control over. I really don't want that for y'all. But thanks for kicking it with me. Um, Y'all, we gotta go. It's time to go. I keep on saying next time I see me gonna get ready to move, but I really do think I'm gonna be throwing stuff like in a box. I have a wagon like with wheels, put stuff in there and like just take it one by one. Like actually, as I'm taking it in the apartment, just start setting it up. For instance, y'all see like this little shelf over there, right? I'm gonna put that in the wagon along with the little, you know, uh, little boxes, cubbies or whatever that there over there. I'm just gonna put it all in the wagon and take it down there and put it up like it's nothing. So as far as me trying to pack, mm, 
don't see it. One of y'all did suggest a rolling clothes rack, like to get my clothes. And I did, I had already thought about that in my mind because I usually put like the trash bags over the hangers. But I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna be wasting hella trash bags when we literally just going downstairs. Thank y'all for kicking it with me. I love.